like oranges. Sometimes they are sour. But I like cherries. Yeah, you're right. Oranges can be sour sometimes, but cherries are always sweet. But why oranges are sour? Because oranges contain a lot of acid, and all acids are a bit sour. Acids? What is an acid? Oh, most of liquids in this world are either an acid or bases. Oh, but orange is not a liquid. <laughs> orange and all fruits have juices inside them. Those are liquids. Oh, yes. So you're saying all liquids are either acids or bases. And orange juice has a lot of acid. Yeah, you are correct. Orange, lemons, grapes, and many other fruits have acids in them. But can you show me something that has base inside it? Look at this toothpaste. It is a base. Want to taste it? No, no, it is bitter. Like most of the acids are sour, most of the bases are bitter. Hmm, so toothpaste is a base, hence it is bitter. But I am wondering why few things are acids and few things are bases. For that, you need to understand atoms and molecules. Oh, I know all about atoms and molecules. I saw it on MakeMeGenius.com. Oh, good. Then you can understand it well. Look here. See the water in this river? Yeah, water molecules made of two kind of atoms, hydrogen and oxygen. Very good. And water symbols H2O, or H stands for hydrogen, and O stands for oxygen. So water symbol H2O indicates that there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom bound together. Hmm. And do you know that water molecule may be broken into parts? Each with one OH and one H element. Oh, yes! Remember that on breaking H is known as hydronium ion, and OH is known as hydroxide ion. Hmm. So H is hydronium ion, and OH is hydroxide ion. Now, let's see why some things are acids and why few other things are bases. Oh, in one liquid, I can see more OH means hydroxide ions. Yeah, and in other liquid, there are more hydronium ions. Yep, H is for hydronium. Now, remember this. If a liquid produces more hydroxide, it is a base. If it produces more hydrogen, it is an acid. So left side liquid is a base, and right hand side liquid is an acid. You are correct, my darling. But I have a question. Go ahead, genius. I've learned that we can't see small atoms. You are right. So we can't see hydronium and hydroxide ions. Hmm. Again, you're right. So if we can't see these small H or OH ions, how will we find out that something is an acid or a base? Very intelligent question. Okay, let me explain it to you. There are various ways to find out whether something is an acid or a base. Like? Hmm. The acids and bases behave differently. How? Oh. Look here. Acids taste sour. Hmm. And they cause corrosion. Oh, that is why many old statues in the city look... Wow! Oranges! Faces. They are slippery. Oh, I did not know that soap is a base. That is why I keep slipping from my hands when I take a bath. <laughs> yeah, and you know bases normally taste better. Look at this cucumber. Hmm, that is interesting. But I have a question. What is that? You said that most of the acids are sour, and most of the bases are bitter. Yes. So, if I want to know whether something is an acid or a base, we need to taste and check? Very brilliant question. Look at these things. We can't taste all. This can be dangerous. Then, how will we know whether something is an acid or base? Oh, for that, let me show you something.
Here is a magic paper. Magic paper? Yeah, it is known as litmus paper. This can test whether something is an acid or a base. How it can help? Look here. If we take solution of anything and dip the litmus paper into it, the color of the paper changes. Oh, you have dipped it in vinegar. It is turning red. Yeah, if the color changes to red, it means the solution is acidic. Wow, but what will happen if we put litmus paper in some solution that has base inside it? Oh, look here. It is a soap solution. The litmus paper changes to blue. Wow! My friends, remember, litmus paper turns red when it's dipped in acid, and it turns blue when it's put in a base solution. Let me show you something. What is this? It is known as pH scale. The pH scale measures how acidic or basic a substance is. It ranges from 0 to 14. Why half of it is blue and other half is red? You remember litmus turns red when dipped in acid? Oh, so red part shows acids and blue part shows bases. Yeah, 0 to 6 are red. Acids having 0 pH are very dangerous. Milk comes at 6. It is harmless. And bases are from? Things having pH from 8 to 14 are bases. Egg white, soap. All have pH more than 8. Oh, so they are bases. What about 7? Hmm. 7 pH is neutral. Means it is neither an acidic nor basic. Any example of a neutral thing? Pure water is neutral. But how we decide the pH? Oh, you remember. The litmus paper. That helps us. Wow. Now I know water is neutral. But this orange is acidic. Hope you learn all about acids and bases. Now, a request. Please press two buttons. Yeah, like button and subscribe button.